Today's video is going to be a very slow paced video so that you can chill and relax and follow along with me as I paint this beautiful peacock feather using watercolors. So let's get started. The first thing that I do is I tape the paper down to the surface using masking tape on all four sides and this just helps the paper stay put to one place and it doesn't move. And now with the spray bottle, I'm going to activate the paints in the pan. You really need to do this because it's going to help the paint to soak up some water so that it will be easier for you to pick up the paint and mix all the colors you want. Now I'm mixing all the colors that I need for this particular painting before I even touch the paper. As you can see I mixed a very light green and the brush, I'm not going to clean the brush. I'm just going to set it aside and use a different brush to mix the darker green color. And for your kind information, if you add a little bit of brown or maybe even red to your green, it's going to mute that green color and it's going to make it look much more natural. I'm mixing up a little bit of orange along with some light blue. I'll also be using violet straight from the pan. Now I'm just wetting the paper with some water, clean water. And for today I'm using a size 2 mop brush but you can use whichever brush you want. Now I'm just going to lay down the paint onto the paper, wet paper, wet paint. And I'm going to make some kind of a tear kind of shape using the light green and the dark green. But the dark green mostly stays at the bottom. I'm going to create a very nice circle with this blue color and surrounding that blue I'm going to add some orange. This is why I left a nice circle in the middle of the tear so that we can add all these colors. Before the paint dries out completely, I'm going to add the same colors to the same areas again just because I want them to be a little bit more saturated. Now I'm just adding little spots of paint here and there and once I'm done with it, I'm going to use the same spray bottle that I used before and spray clean water all over the painting just to make the paint move along and do its own thing. If suppose any area forms puddles like this, then you can easily soak it up with some clean tissue. Just don't use any pressure, don't press the tissue onto the paper, just gently soak up the extra paint. Once you are done, let this layer dry completely. Now you need to mix up the same colors you mixed previously, the light green, dark green, orange and the light blue including the violet and then you just have to go over the same areas again. For the green parts of the feather, now you have to go in some directions like this. You have to use some strokes for this painting and if your paintbrush gets dry, keep using that brush. It's going to create some amazing texture and this technique is called dry brushing technique. Now for all the feathers that are coming from the lower end, just use all the different colors that you mixed in your color palette and then just go in some strokes like this. Try to vary the length of your brush strokes so that it looks natural. Now for the top green part, I'm just going to add a little bit of dry brushing so that it can have a little bit of texture and also it can look interesting. Now I'm mixing up a very diluted light green color and then using my dropper I'm going to pick up that paint and drop them onto the painting like this. I'm also adding a little bit of water drops to the paint as well and that's because I want some character to the paints that I just dropped and if suppose there is too much water then I can always soak it up with tissue paper. I'm also going to add some splatters here and there using my paintbrush. Now for the final layer, it is the finishing touches and I'm going to add some darker paints here and there 
add some more texture with the dry brushing technique and reinforce some areas of color make them look saturated enough and that's all i'm doing right now i really hope that you found today's video peaceful and easy to follow and if you stayed this long then thank you so much for all the support that you're showing to us this channel and it really means a lot to me and no matter how many times i say thank you it's never going to be enough so thank you all so much i'll talk to you guys next time bye everybody take care